whatever. Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribe to the room. So, a little more uh, haven't done in Idaho back roads video for a while. Oh, and I actually did a greeting at the homestead, too. Remember? <laughs> Oh, you did? <laughs> That's funny. I probably just won't do that. Anyway, so we're out here. We're actually... Uh, not that we haven't been on this mountain, but we have never been on this road that we're on right now. Ever. If you can believe it. <laughs> so we're doing some uh, new exploring. Scouting for some firewood. And scouting for some firewood. And, of course, always looking for mushrooms. And we actually, I talked about it when I first did the greeting. But anyway, we're going to explore some back roads and got our fishing poles and everything. Look like we always have our fishing poles with us. But hoping to uh, well, let's do a little crick fishing up here. So definitely be showing some of that. You can't even see Miss Kitty because she's got her head, head, out, the head out the window like a doll with her tongue hanging out. Look at that damn rag! <laughs> 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 so anyway, but we got up at, oh, we were up early, what, 5.30? Yeah. 5.30 this morning and about 7. Um, we headed, out, well, I guess actually we were getting, I was unloading the truck and stuff about 7. And headed up to come up here and uh, got to uh, welfare woods in the middle of the road, man. <laughs> but got up, uh, uh, headed up here, and lo and behold, there's the yard set. So then uh, I had to go empty my truck. Had to go back to the homestead and unload. Didn't buy a ton of stuff, but no, I'm not some big piece. Yeah, I bought a couple of shelves. Let's have yeah. a buck a piece, man. For these awesome shelves. Solid wood. Solid. Book yeah, well, one solid wood. The other oh, one's that brass, brass one. Yeah. yeah. So when I, if Miss Kitty don't use them in the cabin or the cook shack, then I will use them out in the knife shop. Pretty sure she's gonna claim the brass one for sure, and probably the other one, so I'm probably out of shelf. <laughs> she likes shelves. I want to be a great bookshelf. Whoa, what's it? Alright, so we'll check back in here in a few. fish fences is to protect these guys. These are a native Idaho fish. You see all the different colors stuff on them? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're good eating, but these are protected. Man, they are fighting little mothers, man. Yeah. 
God, did you see his ball again? No. Down? By the time I got around this culvert, I think it was way down. Yeah, by the time I got over here now, so. Yeah. But, what do you do, is walk in there and throw it in there? Yeah, he must have walked up to my feet and dropped it in my feet and it rolled in. Let's see if I can see it. Now. I think it's yellow. Okay. It's yellow. It's funny, the first hit I got, I was down there getting my stuff ready, I was dropping it in right there. <laughs> I seen this from the truck so I went over and picked it this is actually we call them snowballs and if you cut them open and they're white like that that's an edible mushroom they're good um, I'm not gonna take it and eat it because man I've, we've ate thousands of them the smell of them is amazing mm -hmm. did you want to take it home and eat it uh, maybe if we get a few more but uh, but man we've ate tons of them they're edible they're not uh, is that one right there Let's go look. <laughs> now this, <clears throat> no, it's not. <clears throat> what is it? It's one that's been kicked up. I'll show it to you. 
the top of it looks like the same texture but it has fins yeah, that's a crazy that almost looks like a bolite yeah well it it's a bolite doesn't have the fins see how that's got fins but it doesn't underneath here right it, yeah, i'm not sure that looks a lot like a bolite i don't want it either anyway those the snowball ones are really good eating they're not, they ain't morels. They no. ain't chantrails, they ain't lobsters. Just to they're, us, they're just kind of mediocre. Yeah, they're but they're, I mean, it's bad. a good edible mushroom. Yeah. Man, you put, put them in eggs, and uh, it's really good. This man, uh, of course, doing my, my cleaning up, and then uh, a little cleaning up, especially gluing them the broken glass. Tin cans. <laughs> you filming me picking up the, all the crap out of here? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm kind of filming you and looking at the beautiful trees. Kind of hard a, to not get distracted. Put the aluminum one in this one for recycling, and then I'll grab a trash can for the tin. For the tin. But at least. It's in the fire pit and not spread all Strung over the out, pit. yeah, exactly. Because really, it's a pretty clean can. Man, but it is amazing up here. We will definitely, like I said, this is the first time we've been on this road. And uh, probably spending a lot of time up here this summer. And the fishing's excellent on that creek. That's in the room.
these ends on them. Oh. They're so nice to be catching this many of them. Whoa, there you go. That man's out. Uh, but they're surviving. <laughs> What's going on with you? What do you mean? They're spaced out. No, I just, I just came up the mountain. I can't breathe. I'm huffing and puffing. I maybe you're going to run up through there like a... Uh, I, don't know. I haven't so had a chance to go up that way yet. I was down that way. <laughs> anyway, so I grabbed that... Uh, look at this kitty crab. She's giving me bad looks again. Bad looks from behind the camera. I wish you guys could see it. She's kind of mean. <laughs> but anyway, so I came over here. I'm not taking the two. I may grab those later. You can see some rot and you can actually see all the black ants. I don't want to haul those back to my property. Um, wood ants. But there was a, uh, somebody forgot their jug. Jug of water and uh, rope, a chunk of rope. So uh, bonus gifts, man. And uh, I mean, obviously they won't be coming back for that. That's why they left that. Oh, look at that. Right through the pitch. Ants. I'm going to town. See those carpenter ants, man. Carpenter wood ants. They, uh, that was one of them beetles, too. That was a bad, bad beetle. You can see what they do. They go and bore their way in through a hole like that and then make homes in there. We have enough of them on our. On the homestead as it is. Yeah, we don't need to be taking any more home. Are you ready to go uh, somewhere else? Or you... uh, if you're still fishing, I can explore uh, no, that way. Yeah. Fuck you, though. Okay. Nelly, we can go check out some more spots. One of our favorite things is check out all the old deer camps and elk camps. There's no wheel or some scrap. Get over here. What we got? That big old wheel. I just don't know what the heck's gonna be in the in the heels. Six leg wheel. <laughs> so haul it out too. Might actually fit my old trailer. Might fit the trailer. This kitty's over there doing something. Mountain junkers, baby. So you got a, you got a trash can, you got an aluminum can, you got biochar. I always look around, man. The weeds and stuff for act, man. We found, I don't know how many axes and hatchets and pocket knives and grills and. Little welfare wood leaning against the thing. There's a log too. Actually, there's a couple pieces of wood there. Yes, so we'll get that. In this camp, I would say, uh, <laughs> from the looks of it, was probably last year an elk camp. Definitely nobody been in there this year, man. Our tracks were pretty much the only ones coming in. Oh, there's a pond. I don't want to fish it. Little mountain lake. Some of those kitties found herself some rope. Huh. I'm gonna get my fish boat. Looks pretty good. Let's scope around. Before I go over and run a spinner through that, it's got a pretty sure it's a little mountain spring lake because uh, it's got water plants all around it. Boy, the strawberries are the wild strawberries are just booming. Should be some dang chanterelles. Go look over here. Oh man, there's a whole uh, slew and crick. Cool. Oh, I love finding new places. Yeah, 
can see this uh this here last year you can see the remnants of the hay so they actually were uh i would say elk hunting yeah because we're pretty high probably up here i don't know probably 5500 feet um and they had horses you know and we're packing in for elk hunting I'm just taking a little gander, see if I find there's a whole path right there. And that last uh, fish that I caught on the creek, after we got back to the truck and stuff, I was thinking about it and I thought, dude, I think that was a brook trout. So we pulled out the not a bull trout that first one guy caught was a bull trout um but the fins i started thinking about it and kitty was saying how pretty the fins were and i thought dude that wasn't a bull trout that was a brook trout and we got looking and it was it was actually a brook trout so i could have actually kept that one but i do a lot of catch and release we love it oh yeah i'm gonna have to go back and catch it man i need some food but uh, there's a nice trail that runs down through there babe down it well it's yeah it looks actually i think this is it i think it circles around then it goes down to the pond area yeah, and they had horses and stuff in here so this could be a, just a game trail make sure you call and take kai with you there he comes <laughs> so <laughs> this kitty just got a good laugh because i'm usually mr uh Navigator. Yeah, Mr. Navigator directions, Mr. you know, Compass always, Man. always know which way's uh, north and which way we came and we went into that last camp spot where the little mountain lake was and I come out and we're talking and stuff like that. I just come out and go to the right, head farther up the mountain and get down here man i'm pointing down here man we're looking i'm like wow look at that that's a nice little camping spot down there and as we pull up to the road we're all hey there's a road in there i go to turn on it and it's the road we just came out of <laughs> <laughs> so we were going backwards up here you need to show that like, clearing okay over to the other mountain Hey. Hey. So, obviously I couldn't carry Miss Kitty on following me in there. Yes, I did follow up in the creek <laughs> a couple times. Yeah, they got some uh, 
Yeah, that's moss, man. That's because I fell on this big rock and I was like, <clears throat> and I slid off it down in the water. That was great. That's why I don't carry a camera because it would be smashed. And if I'd have been wearing those glasses, but I can't seem to get to work. Um, they'd be floating down the creek. Yeah. Anyway, we ended up, I ended up, I threw, I don't know how many back. Ended up keeping six of them about that size. Got a couple of that and a couple of rainbow trout. So, got some brookies. What I got? One, two. Looks like four brookies and two rainbows. Dinner. For dinner for me and Miss Kitty. We'll take them babies home, roll them in some of my my Cajun seasoning. Miss Kitty will make her homemade tater sauce. Yeah, roll them around a little. Slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, these are uh, these are those Italian boots. I didn't pay it, but they uh, these are six hundred dollar boots. I'm waiting in a creek. Am I an idiot? Huh? Well, I only paid seven bucks. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll get them home, get them all. I wasn't really planning on. Uh, well, actually, I guess I just really didn't think about it. I brought on my fish. I was planning on fishing, but I didn't plan on going swimming. The britches are falling off. Holy smoke. Miss Kitty thought I was lost. I got eaten by a bear. But I'd love to have taken the camera along, but uh, Miss Kitty didn't even want to follow it. No. There's, I got moss in there. Yeah, I know. Trees and everything, but man, I went and hiked up this waterfall. And man, it's one of those things if you've ever crick fished or hiking or driving or whatever, and you just want to see what's around that next the next bend, I can see the pool. Oh gosh, I gotta go check that one out. Oh man. So I ended up up in there probably a mile or more. So but it was great, man. But uh we spent a lot more time up here than we planned. It's okay. Enjoy yourself. Miss I did, Kitty. did you? On your Father's Day weekend? Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, it's actually TNT's birthday, birthday weekend. weekend. And I had a couple, or one person ask, what is a TNT? And that would be Timothy Tucker, my grandson. TNT! Because he's dynamite. And I can't even walk, man. I gotta get my truck. Okay. Take me home, my little angel. So, good Lord willing. And the, oh yeah, I guess I could end it out there. So unless something else exciting happens on the way. I guess Miss Kitty, uh, the dog got knocked on his butt. That's good. He finally got a chance to chase some cows. Yeah. So, but he did get come back. She said, "I missed the whole thing." So then she said, "Can you hear that?" It's like I was standing, I was standing in a waterfall. I couldn't hear nothing. I'm just looking around at all these cliffs and rocks, man. It was, it's, it's pretty uh, deep in there. You're definitely gonna have to hike up in there next yeah. time we come camp out. We're gonna come back here and camp out. This is No Tellum Creek. You miss Kitty's little spot now. So, uh, good Lord willing and the cricks don't rise, we will be back again tomorrow.